there is one tree. Oh, yes. It's also really dark because of the lighting angle, but this is going to make for the ultimate home. What we gotta do is go ahead and get ourselves our shelter. And how do we do this? I I really don't know. We we can't just place it anywhere. You have to you have to find a specific place. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? How do you do this? What the You need a tree, but Do you have to Okay, you walk up to it. Alright, alright, that makes sense. So if we walk up to this tree, uh my treehouse is gone. Alright. If we walk up to we might need to be closer to the base. Hopefully this tree isn't like its growth isn't stunted or something weird. Yeah, okay, so it's not even gonna let me place it there. Well we could build on that tree, but it doesn't really have as awesome of an angle. This tree, is this is this a choice? Uh it is, but it's kinda like I want an awesome tree that's just over. Yes, this right here is gonna be perfect. Oh boy, are we are we we're throwing down the blueprint, and now begins the process of building up this bad boy, which is gonna be overlooking the the kind of river that leads to the other half of the not yet unlocked island islands. Anyways, I don't want to grab logs from near too nearby. I kind of want to keep the the vicinity. Forested, so let's just go ahead. We are getting pretty tired. I'm not even sure we'll be able to finish this today. If we wanted to, we have one snack bar. We gotta get a fire going, that's what we're gonna do. Well, I say we kind of just multitask, do a little bit of everything, and that way, kind of, it's not as monotonous and tree choppy. We might like chop down a couple trees, and go do something else. We also have a rock holder, which is gonna be pretty useful because we only have a five rock limit. So that's actually gonna, that's actually gonna be really useful for stockpiling rocks. Uh, speaking of rocks, let's just go ahead and get a fire pit going at the base of our treehouse. I think that'll be a fantastic idea, don't you? I do too. A little bit of a kind of kind of base camp at the base of our base, base, base city, base, 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 base. It's only seven rocks. Okay, thought it might be a bit more because that's what the blueprint said. However, the blueprint is wrong. Uh, let's throw that pebble. What tree was I chopping down? I was chopping down one of these trees. Uh. We'll just say I was chopping down this one. Sound good, sound great. Okay, it has started thundering. This is terrible news. Let's just go ahead. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking. I think we do two trees before every, like, other significant action. Because we are going to need to be fed pretty soon. Because our food's definitely... It's slacking a little bit at the moment. Also, I don't want these logs to roll off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them ASAP. Throw them on our treehouse and see how that goes. I do want to have this done by today because it's a fucking treehouse and it looks amazing. So, uh, we're only going to need 30 logs, 30 logs. Oh my god, it's going to I can already tell this is going to be freaking amazing. We also have a huge tree over here. We'll just chop this down. And at this rate, if we chop down a tall tree and a small tree, it should only take four different trips. So it should not be too bad, really. It should be pretty bearable. Hopefully you guys are cool with it. If you came here for the very sole purpose of seeing what the treehouse looks, I just go ahead and suggest you fast forward through the video a little bit, and it's good, a uh, really good chance it's going to be showcased later on. Uh, my god, I swear to god, if my logs fucking fall off... No! Uh, okay, I clutched that. I didn't clutch the ankle sprain, but I clutched what mattered, and that was the logs. Uh... Where are the rest of them? Are they on this side of the rock? Yes, they are. Okay. Here we do see our treehouse coming along very, very nicely. Ah, it's going to be 35, so if we do... We just need three tall trees and five short trees. And if I am correct, that should be plenty. And oh my god, this is... We are going to be... Oh, I just realized it's a treehouse, so... We're going to be pretty freaking safe in the thing. Alright, let's go ahead. Try to find these rocks that we need for this house. We do have our other house. It's actually a ways away. Oh, we could have built our tree house over on, over here. This is all right next to the tree of life. Huh. In hindsight, maybe we not did not pick the best place to build. Could have been... Oh, if there was a tree right here. Oh, there's trees right there. Isn't that interesting? I was going to say, we could like overlook this place. They are, oh my god. Do you guys see what I see? 
in the hole of my axe. Pretend that is a magnifying glass and we are zooming in. Do you see that movement? I do too. Someone is checking out my base. That's creepy as hell and I don't like that. That that shit I don't like. I'm sorry, I really don't. Uh, let's get this fire going and also we will show off this new feature kind of with the fire where you can, what is it, uh, you can actually put more than one type of food at a time on the fire so that's going to be pretty, pretty important in my opinion although it's not too important because any piece of food in reality does pretty much just instantly fill you up so it doesn't matter too much, uh, we actually have water running down so I'm not sure how we're going to keep this fire lit but whatever, we'll work our magic we're magical people, do we even have any leaves? we have like 13? It's not really too much. If we can have this house done by sundown, that'd be a big accomplishment for me. Uh, how many rabbits? We got two rabbits and three lizards. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy cooking. And then in the meantime, let's go ahead. We're going to be placing and trying to master the use of the rabbit cage. Throw that. We'll throw that under our treehouse, actually. Or like right next to it. This will be kind of the little base camp area here. We can't even fucking build it. Damn it. I am so stupid. Well... Yes, we can't really work on that until we finish the house. So, just just the just a reminder there. Food should be done right there. And now, that's a rock that looked like a dead person to me for a second. Now that that is done, let's go ahead. Uh, here we have the two other big trees we really need in order to do this as effectively as possible. And after we chop these two down, we'll go ahead and go back on topic. Then I think we just need four more short trees and. We should be good in all honesty. I do want to keep the area, like I did say, kind of forested over by my treehouse so it doesn't look uber out of place and kind of, at least a little bit, blends in. So I'm kind of just trying to chop down trees that are higher up. Uh, let's go ahead, make sure these don't fly off because that's going to be a very big problem, probably. Uh, I think this log's rolling towards us. Any? So oh, there's the other log in. I don't know what happened to the last one. Shit. Well, hmm. Maybe it's up at the top still. Uh. No, I'm not seeing a log right now. Never mind. I'm seeing the log. Hallelujah. We're not gonna be too screwed. Let's go ahead and chop this bad boy down. Then we get a couple more. Actually, I should probably just go ahead. Grab this and throw that onto our house. Once we do that, I'll go ahead and chop it down so I can kind of go and grab the ones that are in a more immediate danger of rolling off. And uh, we're already about to be halfway done with the treehouse, so by no means is the treehouse a huge project like the log cabin. Uh, I don't think the houseboat was too bad. Was the houseboat that bad? I don't remember the houseboat being too bad, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it was houseboat was aight. It was aight in the words of me and only me okay uh, that's gonna there we go these are actually really close to our house should make for a quick little run there let's not light ourselves on fire uh, there we got one more I'm on the hunt for logs where are you uh, we got one here I don't know what happened to the last one. Oh, there it is it's kinda rolling away it should be stopped right there and at this point in time we are going to be needing only 16 more trees however before we do that I do want to go and explore a little bit. Ah, oh, but we have so many trees. Oh, wait, I can't chop down the ones near me. I forgot. Well, let's just go ahead and check out the nearby camp and see if that maybe has the flare gun we're looking for. I think that'll be an alright, alright idea. Or will it? Huh. No, I'd say we'll just go ahead and finish up this uh, these logs right here. And since I didn't stay true to that plan of me kind of going back and forth with an objective, I'll just go ahead and cut these trees out because I don't really have anything I want to talk about while cutting these trees. Unless you want me to go over the new change log, which is actually a fantastic thing to do. So the rock holder blueprint has been added. The movable log holder blueprint has been added. Uh, the mid-sized cabin blueprint, which we have already built. The treehouse blueprint, which we are in the process of building. A uh, working door was added to the... A custom doorway that you can place for your own little forts however it does seem that they kind of broke the door that's included with the new blueprint so I'm guessing they'll have that fixed by 
either this pet, uh, they might hotfix it, or they might just wait till the next changelog, because it, it seems that big, but really, a door isn't too important. At least, I don't think so. Uh, I don't want to chop down the trees near me, I forgot. We'll just leave that tree kind of like that. Oh, God. The naked man has returned. Do you, do you think we face him off? All right. He's creeping towards us. What do you want? He wants nothing. He wants nothing to do with me. I say we confront him. I feel, I feel very prepared here. What do you want, knave? Oh my god. You are skinny. Oh! They start playing epic music when you fight now. That was not present before, was it? Oh, this guy's a parkour master too, it seems. Well, fuck you. Oh! Oh! We're exchanging the hits. This guy's a fast little bugger, ain't he? Oh my god, he is actually... Oh my god, his movements. I guess being skinny gives him a little bit extra. Oh, oh, oh. This is a little bit... Oh, no, 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 no. This guy's a fighter. This guy's a fighter. Okay. He's a dead fighter now, but... Huh. Is he dead? Okay, that's just me breathing. That makes him look like he's moving. Hmm. Well, that was, uh... Intimidating, to say the least. It seems that they're definitely... It might not have been an super noticeable, nor may it have been super obvious, but they definitely attack faster than before. Uh, might be a relatively small change in comparison to uh, the speed it was before, but I can definitely for a fact say that they they attack faster than they did before. I can say that with 100% definitive accuracy that you should not quote me on, because there is still a slight chance that I'm going to be wrong, because I am me, and knowing my luck... Uh, not the best. Anyways, where did we lead up, leave off? It's the uh, log cabin door not working. Hopefully the treehouse, if it does have a door, it does work. Next, we have a male version of the skinny mutant, which was actually the next thing I was going to mention. So wasn't that kind of... It's kind of ironic that the... Or not ironic. I don't know. I'm getting my figurative language devices mixed up. That's kind of funny, though, that he did show up as I... As I mentioned it. I don't know. To just... just Got a chuckle out of me. We got the new tortoise and raccoon animals, which you can't, don't give you anything if you kill them. So they're just kind of there, kind of like the turtles. Uh, animal numbers will go down over time if you kill a lot of them. Will eventually slowly repopulate. Mentioned that. Different animal types now stay around specific parts of the world. Mentioned that. Weapon balancing. All weapons will be slower when holding an item in the left hand. Lighter, weapon, etc. Faster when held with both hands. And there's a new slower uh, axe animation in combat. So I'm not sure if that applies to everything or if that applies to if you are holding it in your left hand. So we might have to clear that up with a little bit of an experiment or something of the sort. Alright, we also have, you can now catch rabbits and place them in the rabbit cage. And thus the rabbit cage I am currently trying to build. We have uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, more accurate weapon clatter sizes, smaller axe, smaller, the stick is bigger, etc. So pretty much... It, it, it feels better when you hit something. You're not going to miss something you should have hit or hit something you shouldn't have hit. Uh, pretty much just the the way the colliders happen. It's smaller for the small axe. It's like bigger for the stick, etc. So kind of, it, it's hard to explain. I'm not I'm not a man of explanation. Uh, no, that one's a bit, that one's too close to our treehouse. Why am I chopping it down? We'll chop down this one, but it's kind of in a log, so it's kind of weird position. Ah. Uh, Anyways, new rock attack animations, it's more powerful and uses more stamina. We might as well just try that out. Uh, nah, yeah, let's just do it right now. Just go ahead and drink a soda. Let's throw on our rock and can it, can we break, can we break this with it? Or, whoosh, oh my god, look at that. You're like, bitch smacking with the rock, like, whatcha? Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna slap a bitch with this rock, like, whoosh, whoosh. Alright, well, there's, oh, can we use it on the Komodo? He just disappeared. Under the rock, into the woods. All right, whip that bad boy bad out, and that bad boy bad out. I don't think that made sense. Uh, anyways, where was I? Oh, uh, there's a better combat theme. It's actually just happened as the, we were fighting. A uh, better lake theme, so there's a new lake. They fixed peaceful mode. Caves now only contain blue-skinned enemies and distorted mutants. So no more of the cannibals you'd expect to see in the overworld now. It's pretty distinct when you are in the underworld. I don't know why I just called it the overworld and the underworld, but let's just go ahead and keep going with that idea. 
Energy now replenishes faster when sitting on the bench. Pretty good, because benches are still relatively useless, but now they're relatively less useless while still being relatively useless. Anyways, I'll go ahead and I think I've really covered everything important. Uh, I'll go ahead and go over the rest. Yeah, might as well just hop in the house and read them off real quick and, and view in awe our new house. Hallelujah. 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 Anyways, let's go ahead and get an epic view there of how jumbled it is, but nonetheless, how beautiful. Actually, what's the view from here? It looks kind of cool. Anyways, uh, we actually have to jump up the stairs. Oh, God. Yeah, you can tell this is going to be good when you have to jump up the stairs to get up in here. Uh, you can't save your game, you can sleep, and you have a terrible view out the window. Wow, this this really is a terrible home. Huh. Now I'm curious. What happens if you chop down the tree? It's possible. I hear it getting hit. Alright, well, you guys know the drill. We, we gotta test this here. Hopefully my... Ah... Uh, it looks so cool with the supports from under too, but... Oh, I just hit a Komodo dragon. Hello, Komodo. Can we even break this thing down? Uh, we have to test it. I'm sorry, but it's for science. It it really is. If our house breaks, so be it. Uh, I really don't want to see what happens. I'm scared it's going to break, and I don't want to put all that hard work off. I'll just... Yeah, that's kind of what I was suspecting. We now have a levitating tree house. So pretty much... Fuck them haters, we are bosses, officially. We have a floating treehouse. You get on my level, nerds. Uh, hopefully it doesn't collapse when we, like, walk on top of it. No, and we have little- Oh, we have an escape hatch! No, we don't! It, it's- Well, there's no tree sticking- Sticking outside anymore. Anyways, this is really cool. Now that we do have this glitched treehouse. Definitely sound cool. And let me just go ahead and before I end off the episode... Oh, what the fuck? Never mind. Looks like we have a neighbor paying us a visit. Anyways, uh, just glancing over some of the stuff. They added some more small props. Uh, sound effects when you add stuff. Fire now scales with the amount of fuel. Plants now burn for longer. Trees will tumble over if burnt now and added new burning material with embers. So... If that means what I think it means, we can go harvesting trees with a flare gun. I want to test that out, and that's why I did want to get the flare gun earlier on. Uh, axe mesh. The axe is just all sorts of messed up. They said they fixed it. They did not. Crafting info pages unlocked in survival book. But, yeah, pretty much just, I guess, that's the thing I showed. Not that. There we go. Go home. Uh, crafting info, where am I, where am I, where am I, I think it's do-it-yourself crafting guides. Tells you how to craft some stuff, pretty much. Yeah, it's really, really all it is. Oh, wait, 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 we can make fire arrows? Was this a thing? I don't think this was a thing before. I, this, there's no way this was a thing. I refuse to believe that was a thing. We are getting some sticks. We are crafting up this, and we're shooting some fire arrows, because I don't recall that being a thing, and that is kind of awesome. I don't have many feathers, but I think I do know a handy glitch for remedying that problem. What else do we need? A rock? I forgot how to craft. Cloth. There we go. Got ourselves the bow, and now we just need arrows, which involve a stick and some birds. Uh... I think I might just be able to glitch the bird parks like I do. Do that. Combine, back, combine, back, combine, back, combine, back, combine, back, combine, back, combine. They fixed it, didn't they? Oh, no. Okay, this is this has gotten weird. Huh. Well, I guess we're gonna need to go ahead and get some birds or something of the sort. Why are we holding our hand out like that? That's weird. I haven't seen him do that in a while. Huh. Well, I don't remember these fire arrows being a thing at all, but I am very curious to see how those play out, so I'll be sure to go ahead. Uh, we'll just go ahead and sleep through the night. I do want to see what these are, like, ASAP. I, I need to know what they are. I was going to say, we'll wait till next episode. It might be next episode for you guys, for me. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be right now, because I want to see this. 
Uh, anyways, before I do do that, though, uh, there's also sound effects added. Plants will burn for longer. Energy bar flashes when playing music. Oh my god. The sun's actually setting. We're gonna sleep through this shit if we learn how to climb a ladder. Son of a bitch. Uh, do we just... I, oh my god, this is so clunky. There we go. Go to sleep. And now it is bright daytime. Uh, do 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 do. Arrows now work more effectively against enemies. So we're gonna try that out, see if we can actually do stuff. Fires can cook unlimited amounts of items, and yeah, really? Oh, fixed where you can get infinite flares by dropping a flare gun, picking it up again, so you can't do that anymore. And yeah, that's really all the major stuff I think I did cover, unless I neglected something. Hopefully that's not the case. But now our goal is to go ahead and... Really? What? What? Oh, I, I lit that. That that skin looks so awesome. I really want to go kill some more lizards to see what the full armor looks like. I think we'll do that. I think we will do that. We just gotta find some lizards. I made that sound so much easier than it is. Any birds around here? I really could use some birds. Uh, if I craft a hunting shelter, I think that'll attract a, a chunk of them. Nah, we'll intercept this bird. Ugh. Interception! Interception, damn it!